Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Oh man, so I got I got a train of thought if y'all would indulge me. Because I've been I've been thinking about this actually for like years. I've been thinking about it because I've matured a lot. Um, you remember like the big ideological um, rift in our community is is you have the Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, mm. and then you have the Martin Luther King, and and the integrationist route. And over the years, since, you know, having gone through this, I was looking at the messaging. And the only problem that I had with Martin Luther King's messaging is that it was including white folks. Right. If you dis- if right. you exclude white folks out of the equation and you just apply what he's saying in regards to black folks, mm-hmm. then what he's saying makes perfect fucking sense. Right. right. Because... This whole, like, this image that he had, like, the speech about little white boys and white girls with holding hands, just eliminate mm-hmm. the white girl out of the equation. <laughs> Forget her. What if, we, what if the speech was centered around Africans around the diaspora? Mm-hmm. 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 Right. Then it's it makes perfect. perfect sense. Right. And that's why, like, yeah. what I've learned, and, and it may sound corny, but this is the truth as far as I can put together in my limited time on this earth. You can never help black folks if you don't love black folks. There you go. Right. If you got hate in your heart and you, you, you railing against or you got a real problem with your own people, you ain't going to help them do shit. You're not going to help them. Exactly. There you because go. Because you're not going to attract yep. them. And they're going to mm-hmm. see that you're full of shit and they're not going to be attracted to you. So all of these people right. who's complaining about, oh, folks don't do this. maybe you better check your fucking self. Mm-hmm. Check what type of message that you're putting out. Because mm-hmm. people are attracted to the light. They're attracted to it. That's just, they have no choice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. They're going to come to the light. You shed the light, they're going to come to it. And that's the thing that I've learned. I try to be less self-righteous. In my mm-hmm. my older years, man, I'm just I'm at the point now where um, I'm trying to attract people and let them know or be a living example of what it is that I'm teaching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think that Mark, um, Dev, and and just our circle, mm-hmm. we are very open to everybody. I may not be a Christian, but I don't hate Christians. Right. Yeah, why I don't hate them. How I, I'm, that would be like me hating my own family. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, like beyond the ideological bullshit, we gotta have some love for our fucking people. I should be able to go to any barbecue in the black community. I don't give a damn if it's black. Muslims. <laughs> and I don't care what it is. I should be able to go there and feel comfortable being around my people. Mm-hmm. No question. Yep. I totally you know? agree with yep. you on that. And that, that's all I wanted to say on that, because I've been thinking about that a lot, man. It's like I, mm-hmm. I see why it is that we can't make certain moves. And I think we have made a lot of moves in the right direction, because before, mm-hmm. and Ivy can attest to this, nobody was talking about nationhood. Mm-hmm. Yep. We changed the narrative. Everybody was mm-hmm. talking about ancient history and all this other stuff and who's the true God and all this bullshit. We changed the narrative and made it about nationhood. Yep. And that's all of us. All of us mm-hmm. have done that. So you should be proud right. of yourselves. Right. It may not be where we want it to be, but it's definitely right. headed in the right fucking direction. Right. Because nobody's talking about these damn debates anymore. Or if, if they mm-hmm. are happening, <coughs> nobody cares. It's not really getting no momentum. Nobody. It's right. not where the people's hearts are. 
the people want change. They want something that's going to be good for them and, and beneficial for them in the future. And if you're going to appeal to people now, tangible. you better have a goddamn yeah. vision. If you don't have a vision, you ain't going to be attracting nobody. 